Uh, my sister's husband uh, was a, uh, is an MBA and an electrical engineer and was a vice president of, at a major electronics firm. Um, and he lost his job on a Tuesday with about 5,000 other people and figured he'd get back on his feet pretty quickly. And, uh, and it took a long time. And, and they lost their house and ended up living in my parents' house. Um, and that made me start to think about it, but as often the case, you know, those are the kind of things that get you thinking. He started telling me about outplacement, the people he was meeting, and how many people were actually there, and the fact that nobody ever wanted to tell anyone, and that they were ashamed of it as if they'd done something wrong. And um, I went on to some websites, and it, it interested me, and I went on some downsizing websites, and just posted a little things. I'd be interested in hearing people's stories. I, I'm thinking about maybe writing something about this. And I, I got about 2,000 responses in three days, and, um, and started sort of going through those anecdotes. And, and many of the things in, in, that I heard from people ended up in the film, as did a number of things. I, I also entered, interviewed a number of, um, of CEOs who were actually interested in talking about it and the things that they were going through, and, and, uh, and a lot of personnel people. So a, a lot of what Craig T. Nelson says in it are actually verbatim things that, uh, that CEOs and, and personnel executives said to me. So it's, it's a very personal story. And, and uh, fortunately for the movie and unfortunately for the for the country, uh, you know, it accelerated, and, and now what was you know a couple of million people losing their jobs, or, you know, we're at ten percent unemployment, and a lot of people think it's higher than that. So, um, yeah. Someone else? Yes. Sir.